Okay. Getting everything set up here. So it'll be just a second. Come on, Facebook, you can do it. Look at that. All right. We are on Facebook. So we're going to come back in here. And of course, we're going to bring up our, our super disclaimer. We'll be throwing up dollar amounts. Um, again, I'm not telling you how much you should charge, what you should charge. That's all entirely up to you guys and your business and how it needs to operate. So, but we will be throwing up some dollar amounts. I hope I clear, clarify a little bit involving the wheel screen, how it functions what all we're going to do. Got my trusty. I'm doing everything on the iPad. Now I know a lot of you like to use your phone. And the reason for that, that I do these on the tablet and not the phone is one um, live on the fly. I'm more likely to make a mistake on my phone. Number two, there's a bug in Apple and I can't stop the notifications. So you guys are going to have to watch me get phone calls, uh, text messages, everything else while we do this. And on my tablet, I can at least narrow those down and eliminate those pretty good. So we're gonna bring the tablet up on the screen and nailed it on the first try even. So we've, uh, I've already scanned the VIN, I've got in my customer. Uh, we're gonna keep beating up this poor 18 Toyota Corolla. I mean, it's gone through some hail damage. It's now getting some rim repairs. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go right into the services screen and we're going to go into the wheels section. So list view is on the right, icon view on the left, on the phone screen, it's just simple swipe, and there they are. Either side works. If you are needing to label unrepairable, you're going to do that. Uh, in the list view, you just click the unrepairable. Over in the icon view, just press and hold right onto the wheel symbol. So to undo it, on the icon view, press and hold again, it'll go back to clear. And on the list view, you can just click the no damage or the damage. If you need to add a custom wheel, here's your place to do that. Then you can go ahead, type it all in, and then it will just be in the list to add as your damaged unrepairable. But we'll slip in, we're gonna do go through the uh, right front wheel to start with. So to begin, let me get up one of my pointers here. And uh, again, I do have my Q&A spots up. And for those of you watching live on Facebook, please go ahead, type out any questions that you have. I will answer everything to the best of my ability and make up whatever I don't know. You will see the dollar amounts that I have here. These are not a preset dollar amount in Mobile Tech RX. The preset dollar amount is zero. These are dollar amounts that I added. And after I go through the uh, wheel screens here at the end of it, I'm, we're going to go ahead and discuss how we can, how I can, <clears throat> pardon me, how you can set all of these rates. So as you can see down in each of the wheels, we have everything that any of you in the wheel reconditioning business have told us that you need to do your job and to be able to document how you do your job. So your machine finishing, the polish, special finishes, upcharges for two-piece wheel and three-piece wheel, the paint, calipers. Now I will add, if you're doing calipers and you um, odds are good that painting the calipers is gonna be done more into a uh, retail versus a, a wholesale section, I'll show you how to add the R&I of the wheel uh, in the RNI section so that you can at least charge. If you're charging for that, you can at least get paid for that without having to add anything custom in. If you're doing rim, uh, re-chroming hubcap repair, which uh, hubcap repair, man, if you guys are killing it on that, congrats. Um, most of those are, are plastic that I see, but man, I like the restoration of the old ones. So that's, uh, let's slip into some of these colors here. These are all the preloaded colors that we have found and that you have sent us that are factory rim colors 
and covers the bulk of the aftermarket rim color. So it's a pretty massive list. Hopefully we have everything in there that you should ever need along with the selections of clear. If you know the paint code, it's just a matter of typing that in. Anything in here is going to reflect on the PDF. So it will be displayed for the whole world to see. I guess that's, a, that's probably a really good way to put that. The TPMS sleeves, um, if you need to reset those, we actually have markers in, in the system. So anything that you're doing, you just check the box, tap the dollar amount. And here's where you can just put in the dollar amount. If you have chosen to come in here, let me bring my pointer back up. Ooh, <laughs> that's the wrong pointer. All right. If you put in a dollar amount right here, and uh, if you're doing your wholesale account, and this particular wheel falls out of that category, anytime you have that dollar amount, you can just tap it again, back it out, and override the price. <clears throat> I'm sure most of you'd be happy to do uh, a wheel repair for that kind of price. So in here, in the wheel screen, it varies. For those of you who do multiple services, you'll notice that you know we don't have the factors like normal. We have a set of notes and then we have an internal set. Now the regular notes will print out on that PDF. Those will be visible in anything that you email off or you print off. Those are gonna be seen and internal, of course, is going to be all internal. So everything that's in this screen here, you will be able to see. Your regular notes, now these are gonna be your external notes. So these are gonna go out onto everything. So I think I started in the middle of this from prepping, but you got your peeling paint, no warranty, the bent sitter. It was everything that you guys sent us that was the most common quick reference notes that you needed. And of course, down at the bottom of the regular notes is the custom note that's always the same in, in everything. But beneath that is where you can enter your Hollander number, if you know that, and, and put that reference, uh, go ahead and select the tire brand, the tire model, the tire size. You can put all of those references in, and including on the torque for the wheel lugs, if you need to just tap into the center of that right here, and you can actually just bring up the calculator. You don't always have to use the plus minus buttons. And that carries through into every portion of mobile tech. For those of you that are doing multiple services, anytime you've got that plus minus, you can just tap in the center and just put in the full. So, you know, you don't want to press and hold that plus button for 145 foot pounds or uh, yeah, foot pounds. So you want to just be able to tap it and type that, that foot pounds amount into it. The internal notes, here's where you can go ahead and put everything that you will want. If you're warranting your work, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put in all the rest of this information. The wheel ID, um, you can add the number of spokes. Again, you can go through all of the colors. Uh, here we give you the option for rim finish, the pickup, the drop off, save and return, trash tire, and the, of course, custom note that is always there. So remember, check it, and if you need to, you can override it. I know I sound a little bit repetitive on that, but uh, it, it is something, it's a simple move that when we're out in the field, it's very easy to overlook. So when we're coming back into the main screen, we see we did our left front wheel, we have that. Now, if we're gonna do this similar process and we're gonna do it on multiple wheels, say, uh, if for this instance, our left rear and our right rear have identical damage onto it, then we can just pop these three dots in the upper right hand corner. We're going to bring up that right side menu. And on the phone, it's just right up there. It's in the right upper corner. And we're going to click estimate multiple. And then we're going in and we can add whatever it is that we are doing to them. and then we've estimated multiple. Now you see, I, by doing that, I've eliminated my left front, 
Uh, you're going to want to do, I believe, the multiple first, then the single wheel. That was a really good demonstration of what not to do. And that, that's what John is here for. I can explain to you what not to do in probably some of the best mannerisms possible. <laughs> All right, we're going to slip back. And I'm going to bring this up on the print preview so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Now, if you've watched any of my other webinars, then you, you know I stutter a lot. But the services bar up here is the wholesale services. Wheel repair is generally figured in as a wholesale service. Most of you have told us that the amount of uh, retail rim repair that you do is so minor that we have it all print out right through here in the upper bar. This allows you to get multiple cars on a single estimate. We try and fit 10 depending upon, I mean, you can make this a pretty big paragraph if you fill in every single thing in the wheel screen there, but it breaks it down. Your left front, your left rear, your right rear. So this will follow all of the repair lines that you see, like cosmetic repair here, and then remanufactured and straightened, and then remanufactured and straightened. So the more stuff that we have, it will fill in on each of those wheels. So everything that you did on each wheel is documented for all time for you. Should you ever, should a question ever arise or a warranty ever be questioned? you will have that. As a reminder, I wanted to pop a couple of these up because I know a lot of you rim guys kind of ignore any of my hail stuff and everything. The dollar amount that you see right up here in this header, we've gotten questioned on this a couple of times and that's why I wanna bring it back up. If you press and hold right there, you can make that dollar amount go away. And that is the same on the phone in that dark gray area. If you press and hold, it'll go away. You press and hold, it will come back. So if you're in and you're capturing that signature from your dealer and you don't want them to see, you've got 10 cars here on this estimate. You don't want to see them that grand total. You want them to, to just know wheel by wheel on those charges. So just press and hold here and you can make that go away. Now, in the process of doing that, I'll show you a, a couple of quick things. When you're doing the signature box, you see the dollar amount is there. So if we press and hold here, and then when we bring up the signature box, we see the, that the dollar amount is still there. That is, that is actually, uh, um, man, the egg on my face doesn't even show on the camera. That is going to be fixed here in the next bug release. I forgot I switched back to the normal. Uh, the store mode. So I have tested this in the bug release, that dollar amount box right there, right here will go away. Um, I have, I have tested that <laughs> thoroughly. I love going live. So let's cover this one, one more time. I know the wheel screen kind of goes pretty fast, but anytime we click on that damaged section, Anything that we pick, we check the box on the left, that says what we're doing. We can enter the dollar amount or we can enter that static dollar amount. So let me, uh, let me clean up my screen a little so I can see some things. So now to set those static charges so that you don't have to enter that dollar amount each time you show up at the client. And this is also in uh, setting the client's rates and what to do after you set up. There's uh, tutorials, you'll find them on our YouTube channel and as well as on our Facebook page. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead, let's reiterate it today. So we're gonna go into our clients. And in this case, our wholesale dealer is gonna be this LMP Motors. We're gonna click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. We're gonna click edit. We're gonna go to the rates section. So let me get that pointer back up here. So make sure you click the three dots up here. Then you're gonna click into the rates section. Then we're gonna scroll it right on down to wheels. And if you've, if you've played with any of the other rate section, you're gonna notice that wheels are the largest category. 
So any of the prices that you want to add, like say we want to put in a price for change this, and this is being done for just this client. So in time, uh, right now, I know it doesn't do it in the back office where you can't set all of these rates as a company default, but you will soon, uh, I am promised, that you're gonna be able to set all of these. This is how you override those company defaults. So you can set all of these rates just for that client. And if you need them to vary client from client, if you have a different agreement for a different dealer, say one offers you a higher level of volume, so you given a discount rate, you can go in and you can literally set that price for every one of those services that I pointed out in the wheel repair screen. And then the only thing you're adding after that would be add the color or the clear, the finish, the rim, you know, all the relevant notes. But you can enter that price as a static price. And by having that set in right there, it just makes going down the lot so much quicker and it really speeds up your day. So then we're going to hit done and then we hit save for one final time. And now those rates are set for that client. So if we come in here and we go to a new estimate, and we'll go back in and we'll go to LMP. This time we're not gonna throw in a car, we're just gonna go straight into the wheel screen and we're gonna tap on that. Now we see like my backside repair where I changed that to 1,052. Now those prices are static in the, in the system and then you don't have to just keep going back and forth. So I wanted to make sure and, and bring that up to you guys. Um, I'm not seeing any questions coming through. I knew this was gonna be a little bit quicker for today. Uh, the wheel screen, pretty straightforward. You guys really set us on a pretty solid path when we design that with you. If you do have any questions whatsoever, please uh, contact us. You can get a hold of me, John Rinstrom, right on Facebook. You know, if, um, like I said, if I can't get the answer, I'll find the answer for you. You can like us and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Now I can't make a whopping load of promises when it comes to the Instagram thing. I'm a computer guy, Instagram requires the phone, still drives me insane, but I am getting better. So go ahead, like us, follow us, and I will do the same for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I put all of these videos, all of these tutorials, I know, you know we offer a lot of services, so we break them down. There, a lot of the other services are much larger than wheels, so it seems like we do a lot more stuff. But I'm gonna be breaking down a lot of the stuff internally and things on the PDF. We're gonna have some updates. I'll also be kicking out those updates as we release some bug fixes and we add some other features inside of that. I'm gonna start putting those out on YouTube Lives and making sure that we're trying to get that word out a little bit better and a little bit faster. So do please make sure, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need anything in the back of the app, I'll bring this up one more time here. You can contact us right from within the app itself. I get a few of you still that say that you don't know how to get a hold of us or you can't seem to find us. It is pretty much right here in the info section. If you are on your phone, if you click this blue dot right here, that puppy is dialing the phone and you're gonna get Dwayne or Eric and possibly even Micah in the tech support office. Those guys are there, they're answering the phone. If you email us, it is very difficult to remember our email address. It is help at mobiletechrx.com. If you need to send in some photos, say you know you guys are out there, you want some photos that are added in in comparative pricing, you can send those to photos at mobiletechrx.com. You know, uh, anything that you send to at mobiletechrx is coming into our guys there. So if you need assistance, remember help me at mobiletechrx.com and send in any questions, contact me, I can put you on the right, right path. But I hope that helps uh, understand a little bit on wheels and you guys get that, those presets by those clients and get those rates in there. That will speed life up for you. So take care, hope you all have a, a great year and are killing it out there in the wheel repair business. See y'all.